Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting polynomial equation today, we have x to the 10th power equal to x minus 1 to the 10th power as well. And in this video I'm going to show you how can we solve it, how can you file our real number roots. Of course, as you can see, we have a lot of roots, we have 10th power, so we have 10th root of key, of course, right here. So let's solve it, let's let's find a method, how can we do this. I want to show you the first really good methods, how can we do this. Let's bring this expression on the right hand side, on the left hand side what we will have we will have x we will have x to the 10th power and minus x minus 1 to the 10th power equal to 0 we just bring this this expression on the left hand side what we're going to do next 10th power is really good power because we can write this 10 as x to the fifth power square so we can easily write it as in this way and in this way on the right hand side we can easily write it in the same way so we can write it as x minus 1 to the fifth power and we raise this to the second power square equal to 0. So we just express this as a difference of squares. And if you know a little bit about math, you know an identity formula of a formula a square a square minus b square. What it will be equal to? It will be equal to a plus b times a a minus b. So we need this we need this formula right here. So we apply this formula in our case. But in our case, a equal to x to the fifth and b equal to x minus 1 to the fifth power. So let's use, let's use this formula. We will have, at first, we will have x to the fifth power plus x minus 1 to the fifth power and times x to the first power but with the minus sign. So minus x minus 1 to the fifth power equal to equal to 0. So as you can see right here will be like right here will be five roots and right here on the right hand side will be five roots as well. So let's find this, let's simplify this step by step. I want to start with these parentheses because as we know if you have a product of two parentheses, this parentheses equal to zero and this one equal to zero. So let's start with these parentheses. I read it right here. Let's start with, with these parentheses. Let's try to simplify these parentheses at first. How can we simplify this? As you can see right here we have the sum of fifth powers. So we need to know a formula a to the fifth plus b to the fifth. And this formula looks like that. If you're talking about a formula, we will have a plus b at first, a plus b, and a to the fourth minus a cube b plus a square b square minus a b cube and plus b to the fourth power. This is our formula, the sum of two fifths powers. So let's apply this formula right here in our case, in these parentheses. What we'll have? We will have as a result. At first we will have x plus x minus 1, so without these fifths powers, and along parentheses we will have. We will have x to the fourth minus x cube times x minus 1 plus x square times x minus 1 square and minus x times x minus 1 cube right here x and in the end plus x minus 1 to the fourth power. So as you can see along parentheses. So this is our fifth fifth power right here. So let's simplify this a little bit. Right here we have 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1. And the second parentheses looks like that if we simplify this all this bracket all these parentheses if you open these parentheses we will have x to the fourth power from here minus 2x cube plus 4x square and minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 but I want to mention this is about these parentheses so these parentheses is a simplified way of these parentheses so this is like look like a half of solution because we have another parentheses on the right hand side so this is our first first roots will be right here. Let's start with, with this with this parenthesis. 2x minus 1 equal to 0 and right now we are going to solve it. 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So as you can see right here we will have our, our root because 2x equal to 1 and x equal to 1 half. And we will find our, we find our, our solution. So x equal to 1 half will be our first solution because this is solution to these, to these parentheses. Let's solve another parenthesis because right here we will have, I hope you understand that right here we will have four roots, no more than four roots, as you can see. So let's simplify, let's solve this interesting problem. x to the fourth minus 2x cube 
and let's let's find it. I sold it before for you and I want to say that right here we'll have complex roots and we will have x equal to one half will be our root as well. So right here we'll have four roots. So in this parentheses we will have four complex four complex four complex roots. Of course I can can easily solve it, we can easily factory this problem but it wastes like a lot I waste a lot of time because it will be like 20 minutes video 30 minutes and of course I don't have like enough space to 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 solve it for you but I want to show you that right here we'll have four complex com four complex roots so this is our left part let's go to our right part maybe right here we will have right here we will have root let's find this solution to this parentheses second parentheses we solved it for the first parentheses and let's find another root. Let's find it. We will have x to the fifth, x to the fifth minus x minus one to the fifth power. There is no formula right here, but we can raise this to the fifth power. What we will have? We will have x to the fifth power minus right here parentheses and the fifth power formula. x to the fifth minus five x to the fourth plus ten x cube minus ten x square plus 5x and minus 1. So this is our formula and if you open parentheses we cancel this x to the fifth power so we will have our, our equation. We will have 5x to the fourth power minus 10x cubed plus 10x square and minus 5x plus 1. So let's solve this. Of course, as you can see right here, real number root one, right here for complex roots. So this is our left hand side, five roots on the left, and let's solve this on the right hand side. We are going to solve it right here. How can I solve it? I'm gonna have a really good trick right here because if we write this 10x square as 5x square plus 5x square, so let's write this, I write it right here. So we will have 5x to the fourth power minus 10x cubed plus 5x square and plus 5x square as well, minus 5x and plus 1 equal to 0. So as you can see I write this 10x as the sum of 5x and 5x square. Why is it good for us? Because right now we can easily factor from here, from these three, uh, three elements, we can easily factor 5x. If you factor 5x or 5x square moreover we can factor, so 5x square in parentheses we will have x square from here minus 2x and plus 1 and the same I write as right here so plus 5x we can easily factor factor it from here 5x right here in parentheses will have x minus 1 and plus 1 so I hope you understand this this step this tricky step okay what we're going to do next I hope you see right now that in this parentheses we'll have a formula this is our a minus b to the squared squared this looks like that we will have 5x 5x square in parentheses we'll have x minus 1 squared and plus 5x times x minus 1 and plus 1 equal to 0. So I hope you see right now that we have a really good case to use a substitution right here because we have x minus 1 and we will have x minus 1 right here on the right hand side. So we can easily write a, a substitution. What substitution it will be? Take a look closely. We have x minus 1 squared. What substitution we we can easily write right here. We can easily write a substitution. The next one, we have 5x squared, we have 5x right here. So what substitution is looks like? We will have the next one. Right here, I suggest you to bring this x inside these parentheses and this x inside these parentheses because we can easily write it as 5 and this x we bring in these parentheses with the main common parentheses. So we will have x times x minus 1 squared. So as you can see I just bring this x and right here plus 5 and right here the same x times x minus 1 as well plus 1 equal to 0. And why I why I take a pause a little bit because I, I tr want to to make a substitution like a comfortable more comfortable for us because if I left right here x is not good for us but if I bring it inside we will have a really good substitution because we will have that our x times x minus 1 equal to t and so what we will have what equation we will have we will have a really interesting equation right now we will have equation 5t square as you can see because we have square 
plus 5t and plus 1 equal to equal to 0. Well, let's solve this interesting equation. What t we will have? Using a, b, c and d we will have minus b minus 5 plus minus square root of 5 and over over 10. But this t need to be equal to our x times x minus 1. So we need to solve last equation. We know that x square minus x equal to t. So we bring this t right here and we will have quadratic equation x square minus x minus t equal to 0. And let's find our x from here. If you solve it using our discriminant or a, b, c and d, we will have that our x will be equal 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4t and over over 2. So as you can see, we find our x. So x from here is equal to this expression. So what are we going to do next? Let's, we have uh, two t's right here. We have minus 5 with the plus sign and minus 5 with the minus sign. So let's write it right here with the plus sign. For example, t equal to minus 5 plus square root of 5 and over over 10. And then if we look into this substitution, we'll, we have a substitution with discriminant. We'll have that 1 plus 4t will be equal to, we multiply it, minus 10 plus 4 square root of 5 over 10. And if we look closely to this, we will have that this expression is less than 0. So right here we'll have no real roots, no real roots. But this is with the plus sign. So let's use minus sign. So t equal to minus 5 minus square root of 5 over 10. What we'll have as a result? We will have as a result the next one, minus 10 minus 4 square root of 5 over 10. So this expression is as well less than 0, so no real roots as well. So as you can see, I show it in this expression that we have no real roots in these right parentheses. So right parentheses don't give us real roots. But as well right here, it will be tenth root with x equal to one, one half. So I want to write it right here. So final answer, final answer, we will have in real numbers, we will have x equal to one half and we will have eight complex, eight complex roots right here, eight complex roots. A little bit complicated because it's not like a equation with the fourth power with square and as you can see right here if I solve it fully if I solve these parentheses it will takes like a 20 minutes 30 minutes so I try to to show you a compact into compact information solve it in with the real number so I hope you understand this explanation if you don't understand write a question in comment I, I really interesting to read it and thank you so much for watching and subscribing i really appreciate it and see you in the next videos have a great day and thank you for watching